So yeah, here we are with uh, Nido, Nigo, Nido. I don't know how do you, how do you pronounce this? Go wake him, Tasia. What what are you doing in my way? Versus Eternal Spirit, the uh, the old T finalist. I really like this team, Eternal Broad. Nice balance. Um, leads up with Landris. I assume this is Rocks Land, uh, Scarf Land or Rocks Tren. I don't like. I don't like. Um, I don't like Scarf Tren and Oris. Yeah, see, he tried to Oko the, the. Try to Oko the. Torn as my Camtasia. Go, go out the way. <laughs> God, this is annoying. Uh, yeah, um, Nita makes the. Like, I agree with Nita's play there. Go into Skarmory. Uh, scouting for the Scarf. or And if uh, Eternal goes for Rocks. I assume this is Defog Skarm, so yeah, Nidor will just be able to Defog if... It doesn't have to be Defog Skarm, it could be like Spikes, maybe with Roland, and yeah, okay, the Lando isn't... the Lando also isn't Scarf, okay. But yeah, Nidor's play still makes sense, as yeah, it's spicy, I picked that correctly. So, uh, I don't know if it's like... Rocks Tita or Rocks Clef. Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure this is Scarf Tar and this is like Rocks Clef or... It could also be double hazard scum with rocks. Yeah, Wilm was pretty obvious on the scum ring. That was pretty sure. I was sure that it had that. Uh, we don't see leftovers, so. This is either Shed Shell or Rocky Helmet scum ring. You don't really use another item on that. As, okay, he ruins out the uh, Eternal into the Keld. So. You can go um, Lari or you can go Clef if you need or. I guess you can go Torn too, but that's rocks up, so you you probably want to go Clef here if you're Spadef. Um, Specs Pump blows Clef away, that's the thing. Lighty switches into Specs Pump though, so Eternal might predict Lighty and... Uh, either try to Scald burn it, or uh, try to Icy, Icy Wind to catch it. Icy Wind is like a lot, like 60 to 70, I don't know the exact count. Probably more like 70% if it's specs killed. It's funny, I just lost my contact lens in my last game. Yeah, he just goes for Skull, it's the mid gun play. Because in case the Luddy comes out, he can potentially get a burn, but he doesn't get the burn. <clears throat> As um, Nidor is kind of. I think he will go for Roost here. He doesn't really gain much from Dracoing, because there's a Jirachi and a Heatran. Like, I guess he gets damage off, but... Like, look at this Kelly. look at what Kelly does to Nero's team. I'm pretty sure that's Specs Kelly you had, because that did 31% to a laddie. Don't quote me on that, I'm really tired. My card game might be off. Okay, he just drops a Draco, wow. A really... Is that Specs Ladios? Why did Eternal just sack his killed? I mean, I get it. I said there's no reason for Nidor to Drago because what if Eternal goes into this uh, Tran or into this Rush? But yeah, the not Dragoing was kind of obvious. That's why he actually got him. Like, he went for the Dragon and he got him. Oh, that's crazy. People, uh, well, people sleep on Nidor. This guy's good. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't expect him. Like, I didn't expect him to make that play. LMAO, ABR, <laughs> Eternal making good plays in 2017. <laughs> Question mark. Yeah, I mean to be fair, that was a bad, not the best play on Eternal's part. I mean, it was a really aggressive play. I assume he predicted a roost. Or double switch. That's okay, okay, I'm a bit, bit behind. Okay, Tren of Power, the Torn. Thought of a Magma Storm and a knock off to the face. <clears throat> Those offensive Magma Tren. That only did 36%, so that looks like. But it was Power Absorbing Tren. No, no, no Bloom Dome yet. It's, an, it's still ours. Oh, yeah. this is ours. There's no Z moves. This is like, uh. There has to be a Silver Stone and nothing, 36% for a Magna Stone. So Nido is probably... 
you turning into Cheetah maybe? Uh, like, I'm pretty sure it's Nidos Scarf because Nidos like had a stacking team. Okay, he goes for Hurricane. I, I, wow, he dodges Hurricane. I don't really know why he went for Hurricane. Couldn't he have gone to Cheetah there? Because I'm pretty sure it's Scarf Town. He could have just gone for Crunch. Like, Eternal doesn't have good Crunch switch ins with Kelio being dead. I don't know why he stacked this Kelio. Like, at first I thought he turned out a decent matchup, but then he just sacked the Skelio. I mean, he just made a really aggressive play that worked out, if it worked out for him. He would have been, like, in a super good position, but that's but this risky play. I don't... That's with risky plays, the thing with risky plays, they don't always work out. God. I gotta not speak properly. Okay, uh... So I got off two hurricanes, so this, I don't think that hurricane miss mattered on the train. Uh, I mean that magma storm miss from the train mattered. The train would have been a little bit healthier, but it might have been able to lift a shell ball with this. But this is Mega Zem, right? Okay, yeah, but what I wanted to say earlier, like Nidos team. It's like the typical team you see is a lot is archetype. Uh Spike Scum. Uh, either rocks are common cleft, or maybe the scar is double hazards. And the Tita has mostly scarf on these teams, and it's to pursue trap bloodies um, so they can defog anymore, and so you can hazard stack. Oh, yeah, a lot also beats uh, Zapdos. It beats, uh, it beats most defogers, which is like why you run it on these types of teams. And I can uh, see Nido going for Psychic here, because Trent should die from that. He just goes for Shadow Ball and gets a crit. Um, the dead crit matter. I don't think that crit matter. I think this game is over. Because like, Shadow Ball into Psychic would have killed anyway, right? I I'm not sure if Shadow Ball into Psychic would have killed. Now, Psychic does like 60% to land as a 70. I don't think that crit mattered. Wait, what, what did Nidor predict there? Oh wait, there's a Jirachi! Oh, I didn't think about that, he predicted a Jirachi. My brain is completely uh, blanking out, okay. It's a pretty nice play on Nidor's part, he... Is this Scarf Jirachi? So, uh, Eternal tried to pivot there, he wanted to go... Yeah, he went to land on the Shadow Ball, so I guess that could really sucks, because he was pivoting from land on the Jirachi. Uh, I think it's a Scarf Jira. It, we don't see a leftover, so it's not like, yeah, the land was rocks, obviously, I was about to say, but it's not rocks. It's probably healing with Shirachi. Maybe he's, uh, like, call my Mega Slowbro. And healing with Shirachi is, like, late game, in case the Slowbro got toxic earlier. Okay, yeah, Nidog just goes for Roost. Oh, he could have gotten another second spike, but yeah, Roos is also fine. Doesn't uh, Mega Slowbro just win this game? Um, that's his teacher. Depends, depends. Like, if he's calm on side shock, he beats Clef when we want to Clef as toxic, right? Is he, is he not going for. Yeah, he's going for calm he's going for game. Um, yeah, so I need to win this game, but Slowbro can actually win. Iron Defense would 6 0. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's T Wave Clef, but it's not Toxic Clef, so. Eternal Skull there, predicting potential T Tar, I guess. Like, I don't know what spread is he Eternal is running on this slow robot. If he's like, if he runs a lot of defense, like, most Mega Slow run like a decent amount of speed dev. So, like, after two calm mines, you can actually like take on electric types. Or after three calm mines, mm, I don't know how many comments you need, but they run like a lot of the death. Because Mega Slowbro's physical defense is like through the roof anyway, right? Like Mega Slowbro actually wards we well. It wards life or we well if you just run max HP. It's crazy. You don't even need defense investment to wall non-choice Bandit we well. Like for Bandit we well, you need a bit of defense investment to wall that. Yeah, I don't know why Nigo is staying in here. 
Probably because he paralyzed it and he gets the special attack drop. Where is it? Maybe that is saying go to Tita. Can this man go to Tita? <laughs> As Advantage said, a ghost question mark. Lol, he actually made the play. <laughs> and he gets another full para. Wow. Um, if um, I think Eternal will Mega Evolve here and stay in. Because if Nita crunches and. Uh, if Nita crunches and Eternal. Uh, I mean, if Nidor pursuits and Eternal stays in, he eats it for breakfast. Okay, okay, never mind. Why did he not Mega Evolve? Couldn't he have lived that if he was Mega? I mean, that, that kind of was a 50 50, but. I'm curious if that, like, could have lived. If he runs a lot of defense, I'm sure that Slobo could have lived. I guess, unless it's Banter, but it shouldn't be Banter, it should be Scarfter. I guess it could be Banta because this team, looking at this team, you kind of struggle versus Star. So yeah, it could be Banta, I'm not sure. I take that back, it could be Banta, yeah. Oh yeah, um, Fuga said he kind of gets that uh, Eternal earlier sector killed. Because he didn't really have a switch and um, I didn't know that Tren was offensive and that Jirachi was Scarf, so they're both offensive, I didn't know that. I thought one of them would be Spadef. <clears throat> like, I could've... Uh, Jirachi could've been Spadef to take on Mega Gardevoir, to check that. What happened to your last turns? Tita went to Skarmory. As Eternal double to Letty and... Surfed twice, but yeah, the cleft just soft boiled it off. So Eternal just took life up damage basically. And then Lano, Lano you turned out. That's Scarf Lano, right? Okay, Jirachi goes for Healing Wish. Uh, yeah, I zoom into. Okay, now you turn. Wow, wow. It's actually like. My turn is actually getting like crazy and crazy, but this game is like almost over, so I'll I'll be I'll do fine. Um, yeah, Eternal just fires off Magma Storm here, right? And this lady should probably wow, he goes for a power. Why? Oh yeah, he predicted Tita. Predicted Tita for sure. Eternal kind of. It's kind of getting destroyed here. I mean, also, yeah, I, I said Eternal would stay in with early, and he did stay in. It didn't work out, obviously. That like that was the type of fifty-fifty play. Oh, I'm not sure about that play. Like, what was his switch? And like, Eternal seems like really offensive. Like at first, I thought it was like. He would have more bulky mons, but most of his mons were just offensive. Like, I thought that he had like maybe three bulky mons. Like, out of these four mons, I thought three would have been bulky. But in the end, only the, uh, only the slower was bulky, the other were just offensive. Okay, oh uh, yeah, he could favor gets tarnished. But yeah, never mind, not the favorite. He turned Taunt's Cleft that switches out into Scum. Scum gets sacked off, and yeah, the lady comes back, can just click Surf. Okay, yeah, that's also a thing. Like. Why well, Tunnel didn't switch into Tren earlier? Because, like, Surf, obviously, there's a lot to that. But if the Jirachi would have been Spadef, they could have switched in, obviously. I just thought he would have had, like, a good Lady switch in. Uh, what what team what team are these guys even on? I don't know. I'm gonna check afterwards. Yeah, this is this is SPL we won on like bulk recording today. <laughs> but he goes into paralyzed lady. What is he going to paralyzed lady? Is he going off like a Draco miss? Oh no! I think it's specs. 
I think Nita's lot is back there, I can't determine those. That is locked. As Nita puts a GG, Tita is at the third. Yeah, he only has Landers left. The only yeah, Landers dies to Hell at 7 months. Even if he wouldn't die to Hell, he couldn't win. Because Clefable only would have died, like, potential earthquake crit, and he can't earthquake because he has a Lari. So he can't, I mean, he can't lock himself in the earthquake. So Nido actually beats Eternal Spirit, that's crazy, I don't have thought. I, I don't know much about Nido. I just know a bit about Eternal because I recorded uh, all tea which was uh, going on recently. Let me actually check what team these guys are on or what is going on here. Nido versus Eternal Aurus. Oh yeah, okay, okay. They were playing for... Yeah, wait, I knew they were playing for Aurus. Oh yeah, that's not what I wanted to know. Okay, so they were playing uh, Raiders vs. Circus Maximus Tigers. So neither was uh, neither won this for Team Raiders. So this is one and two now. They played uh, Sunderman doubles OU and RBY already, but I'm not really interested in, in those tiers. I don't know too much about them. I'm kind of excited for the, the Sunderman OU games. Kratos Mana vs. P2. I think that game is in 70 minutes. I'm really tired, but I don't care. I don't care. I'm recording this too. Ray Scarface with Mother's Mother should be on, on, on Sunday. Ma Mother's actually German. Cool dude. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I gotta end it here. I'm really tired. Wow, wow, this is wild. Like, these two games were just going on back to back. I missed a bit of that, like, Sun and Moon OU game. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, show your support if you enjoy these SPL uploads. And I thank you guys for watching. Dark Crush signing out. Peace.